Hello, and this is a tutorial on Game Maker on how to make a top-down shooter. Okay, uh, top-down shooters are one of the, my favorite game type of games to make uh, because usually there's a lot of shooting and it's also fairly easy to make. Okay, so let's let's just go and make a sprite. Okay, 32 by 32. Okay. Uh, just make a circle. Come on. Make a circle. Okay. And I'm just gonna make a line here, so we can tell like which direction the sprite is facing. I know it's simple, but I don't want to. This is not a sprite making tutorial, so go somewhere else to learn how to sprite. Make a sprite. Okay. Wait, did we even put that line? Okay. Uh, okay. So, what should we call it? I'm just gonna call it man, sprite man. And create an object. And we're gonna name this object, object man. And his sprite's gonna be sprite man. Okay, that's good. So, right away, I'm going to go ahead and create a few variables. The first variable is gonna be HP. Actually, let's go ahead and HP max. This is the variable that controls what the max uh, health is going to be. So, like, his math, max HP can be like 100, and then we're just going to set to default when he's created his HP. That's his current HP equals HP max. Okay. And then we're going to have to create ammo variable. So, ammo equals no, max ammo equals like 32 okay so he has 32 bullets in the magazine okay so we're gonna make this equal to max ammo okay so that's pretty good and we're gonna create a rate variable so its rate will be since the frame rate is 30 uh, let's make it 7 I guess. and then firing equals 0 Firing is basically just the timer. Instead of making like a bunch of timers, I just have firing. And I just have it add every step. Yeah. I, I like, I mean, alarms are nice, but I, I use this. It's easier to keep track of. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Mm -hmm. Tutorial 1, okay. Save that. Okay, now we're, that's good. And now I'm going to make, oh, sorry, you can't see this make a step event and we're gonna draw a control in here okay uh, what should we add in here well first we want it to point towards the mouse I got stuck here for a long time <laughs> actually first I made an animation and like uh, depending on where the mouse was relative to the position of the character it selected a different frame but let's not go into that Okay, you need uh, Game Maker Pro, unfortunately. So, image angle, that's basically what direction the, what do you call it, the sprite is facing. It's in, uh, it's in degrees. Okay, so there's a function called point direction. You give it two X and Ys, basically. Okay, so we, we get the X and Y of the current object, and then the X and Y of the mouse. And this finds out uh, like where you have to point relative to this object. Okay, so yeah, that will point towards the mouse. Let's, let's go and test that. I'm going to make a room. Okay. Oh gosh, don't do this. Up. Okay. Go ahead and make a room. Place the man somewhere in there. Okay. That's good. Let's run that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go down there. Okay, where's our game? Okay. So we're here. As you can see, uh, your little guy or my little guy is pointing towards the mouse. So that's working fine. Now we're going to create movement. Okay. So select our object. Move the camera over here. Okay. 
Now we're going to create a movement script. Okay, so create a statement if keyboard check. Keyboard check. This basically just checks a key, pressing the keyboard, and then ORD W. That means I'm not exactly sure what ORD does, but whenever you want to put in like a letter or something on the keyboard, you have to do ORD and put in a parentheses W. But if you want to do like uh, a different key that you just like uh, shift. You just press VK underscore and then you can scroll through and there should be like a bunch of keys. But right now we don't want that. We want to use the uh, WASD keys, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna, s I'm going to do W. So if W is pressed and is continued to be being pressed, then we want, oh yeah, actually I forgot something. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna set its speed. Yeah, I know R has a built-in variable called speed. As you can see, that hi got highlighted. But we don't want that. We want a different variable. So I'm going to name this SPD, short for speed. And I'm going to set this to 3. So it moves 3 pixels every step. So I'm going to... So W is going up. So I'm going to change the y, y, uh, y value and... We want to dis decrease it by sp ah gosh by speed okay uh and why is it giving me that error oh yeah because I forgot a parenthesis <laughs> okay so we're just gonna copy and paste this for all four keys okay so W A gosh. Ah. okay A S D keys okay so you want to set that to X. You want to set this to plus. Set this to X and plus. I think. Yeah. Okay, so this is pretty much self explanatory. W, we move up. A, left. S, down. D, right. Okay, let's go ahead and test that real quick. Okay. Oh, yep, it works very well, in fact. Okay, so, yeah, so we got the movement and looking down, okay? Now, we're running out of time, so I'm not sure how much more we can cover, but I guess I want to do uh, bullets real quick. So I'm going to make a sprite for the bullet. Bullet, okay, so I get sprite. I'm just going to make a line. I want to make this white. Okay, something like that. That's a horrible bullet, but <laughs> doesn't matter as long as it works. Okay, I'm going to create another object. I'm going to name this object bullet. Yeah, okay. And we're going to put no code on here. Okay, because everything is already built into Game Maker. And I'm just going to add. Oops, wrong one. Global mouse, global left button. And add this. Okay, so when, when uh, you hold down the mouse, or when the mouse is pressed, the left button, okay, uh, it's going to fire bullets. So. If ammo is greater than zero and firing is greater than rate, then firing equals zero and ammo is minus equal one. And yeah, actually, I'm going to stop it here because I'm running out of time. Okay, thank you for watching. And bye.